Today, my friends, I have for you a Town Hall 11 breakdown of the Mass Miner attack strategy. We're going to be giving you guys the best tips and tricks in order to use the Mass Miner attack strategy with mass mi pure Mass Miner, Queen Walk Mass Miner, and also some unique variations that we're going to take a look at later on in the video. Now, not only that, but we're going to break down this base right here that you see on screen in order for you guys to get comfortable and understand how you guys can use miners at Town Hall 11. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So like I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to be going over the mass miner and we're going to be breaking down this base first. So... What about the mass miner or even any minor attack do you need to know? So in terms of, you know, a lot of different ones, we can kind of go over that a little bit later on in the video, but let's give you guys some general terms. A pure mass miner is definitely something where you need to set the funnel on both sides. This is specifically going to be whether or not you're going to be using baby dragons, you're going to use split heroes and whatnot. This is going to be really up to you, but not only that, but you're bringing in the stone slimer, and this is going to also determine on where you want to break in. So, is your stone slimer going to create a little bit more pathing for your miners, or are you going to use it on a multi-inferno? This is going to be what you have to think about. So, with this base design here, if we break it down, we want to first set the funnel for our baby or for our miners, not our baby dragons, but we want to use our baby dragons to set that funnel. So getting rid of the town hall is really important. That's why we have goblins. Goblins because they do times two to all resource structures, including town halls. That means that we are going to be still setting a funnel with them. So obviously you may not see it on the army composition up towards the left or towards the right, but you will sort of maybe want to bring some depending on where the, that town hall is placed. But setting the funnel with your Sui hero and a baby dragon is going to be really important because you've already created that part of the funnel. Now, not only that, but you also want to try and take care of this because you want easy pathing for your miners going in. What about the other side? Well, this is where you would bring some hogs in like about here and then use a giant in order to take out this mortar. Why are we taking these structures out? Because we don't want any damage to the miners as we go in. Now, not only that, but we also want to use a baby dragon in order to set the funnel there and also here. This then leaves us with a stone slimer to go over to here and clear out these structures. Now, what we've got so far is pathing that looks similar to something like this. Now, we have easy pathing for our miners to get through the base here. And just that's going to allow us to then predict where the miners are going to go it's okay if one two three miners go on the outside but because we're using 36 we want a majority of them to go and stay in the base we want them to get as much value as possible we also want the grand warden to go with them in order to protect them with not just his life aura but also his grand or his ability where he can keep them invincible and we want to try and do that throughout the rest of the attack so that's really important what about eagle placement how do what's our entry point specifically like i stated there with where our entry point is going to be the only reason is because of where the eagle is placed we don't want to leave that up especially since typically you may or may not fail with miners because the eagle is still up sometimes it can be a pathing issue but if that eagle stays up it's most of the time going to be you know that it's gonna be because of that so what you want to try and do is take that out as quick as possible if you're using pure mass miner. Now, what about the enemy clan castle? Now, in this example here, there is archers and a lava hound. Typically, pure mass miner does a lot better against lava hound CCs more than anything. However, if you feel confident that you can lure out the damage CC and get rid of it, then that would be a huge plus for you since you can just mass miner the rest of it because you've already sui heroed the enemy clan castle now also what about using a queen walk mass miner this is where you can actually deal with damage cc's fairly easy since you are using a queen walk in this case and now you don't have to worry about the cc as much it's definitely a little bit more widely used but it's going to be very dependent on the base so just like kind of like with every single attack here that i even post on this channel now one of the other important things 
about this is the heal spells. Now, you'll notice from this army composition here, there's only heal, haste, freeze, and poison. The only reason we're bringing poison is to deal with the CC. Fair enough. We also have a freeze for the queen. And why are we bringing that freeze for the queen? Specifically, we want to try and freeze up that queen so that then she doesn't move into an area where, you know, they start moving onto the outside. We don't want that queen to move into an area where the miners will stop go going there to aggro her. And basically, you know, they're all going to start moving towards the outside. We want all the miners to stay on the inside. As an example right here, notice that we are going into that eagle. We're charging into there. We have the Grand Warden going in. We have the heal spell being used to keep those miners alive through that first volley of shots from the eagle we freeze the queen so that then we keep everything in the base we take out the eagle and we also use a grand warren's ability to protect them through the rest of the base and as we see as we move through we still have a lot of the miners in the base we have easy pathing for our healing spells this is keeping us alive as we move in through the base and we also have a poison for back and skellies as well, if we choose to use so. But remember, we're bringing five heal spells. We don't need any rage spells with this army composition. This is just a, a full-blown pure mass miner. And this is all we're doing, healing over areas where these large group of miners need to be. For instance, splash, giant bomb, well, basically giant bombs are splash, but splash, a lot of point defenses and just stuff like that, especially against splash buildings like the Multi-Inferno. Keeping them alive underneath it is extremely helpful. And you can see that the pathing that these miners took was kind of something like this. They kind of went around this Multi-Inferno, but they went like this around the base. That's what you want to do. Some of the miners did go out this way, but that's still completely fine. And you get to see the power of a mass miner. And you get to understand exactly how you guys can use this correctly. So let's go ahead and jump into a few more examples of the mass miner with different variations of it. So on this base design right here, if we take a look at this base, we're seeing a queen walk mass miner. This is a very, very strong portion. This can really help you really get a lot of different three stars it just really is going to be very dependent on the base however not only that but we also see that the stone slammer is being used we have a jump spell as well so we can charge into the base with the queen if we have to but it's also still not a bad option so let's go ahead and break this base down like this so this is a big portion of the base right here then you also have this like bottom portion here but that's not really super important we have this side right here this is where we want to send in the miners. That's really important. Now, not only that, but we have this stretch area here. Easy stone slammer pathing. This, this area, we can close off the funnel here and have the miners continue to move down this way. That's what we're going to be doing. So we have the queen walk setting the funnel here. We have the king going down this way to set the funnel here. Now we have easy pathing to get through the base. We can take advantage of this dead zone right here and we now have just this space of pathing uh kind of something like this here going in we then have the stone slammer to break this off so now we have something along the lines more like that so kind of just keeping everything moving in like this the grand warren's ability to make sure that we can protect our miners as they go through the eagle and stuff this is specifically where you wouldn't want to attack near the eagle. You want to be able to get as much value as possible, so getting rid of the multi-infernos. And you just want to use your heal spells whenever. But since you're using a queen walk, you should be able to deal with the eagle very easily with the, with the queen walk going in. And also having the miners moving through the base. Notice that there were hogs in the clan castle as well. They helped at basically clearing out a few more defenses in that area and just making sure that the funnel or the funnel was still set for the miners so then they could cut that area off and the miners don't need to worry about going out here and instead staying in the base that's all it was coming down to is just pathing so consider that when you guys are using any minor attack strategy it's very very thing it's a very very important thing for you to memorize so make sure that you're creating that pathing 
So let's take a look at another example with this attack strategy. So we're taking a look at this base design right here, and we notice that there's a queen walk and a battle blimp. Why are we using the battle blimp? Well, it's the eagle. Remember, you want to get the eagle down with this attack strategy. So using a Sui slammer and sending in the loons to get rid of the eagle is extremely important. This gives us good value, but consider this. You should only use this if you can get easy pathing to the eagle with the battle blimp. So it's almost a straight line here between the eagle and the town hall. That's what you're looking for. And also you're trying to take a look at, you know, if there are any other defenses like an air defense out there that will pick off your air, your uh, battle blimp. So with this, again, you can see it is a Lava Hound CC, so it's nothing too big to deal with. However, we are bringing a Queen Walk and we're going to have that Queen Walk setting the funnel for this. Now, if you guys have seen my previous minor video, which I'm going to leave as a card, you guys may have already seen this base, but this is actually from a different war. So keep this in mind. It's the same base on in a different war. It's kind of funny like that. But with this, remember that you want to have easy pathing for your miners. So notice how the a majority of the miners are actually staying in the base. And another thing is we want to keep the, that freeze so that then we can keep a lot of the miners in. You don't always have to spam your heal spells and notice how we didn't use a heal spell in this area here because we weren't charging into that multi inferno until about here so you want to just space out your heal spells heal them over the splash buildings heal them over you know areas of a large dps so that then you're going to be able to deal with them fairly easily that's what you're looking for with this type of an attack and it gives you guys a, again a really solid understanding Sui Siege is never always an easy option. However, if you can find that right base design to use it, it can really help you a lot. And even just looking at these replays, it gives you guys an idea of how you guys can use the mass minor attack strategy to be a little bit more effective. It just gives you guys a lot more variety in terms of different attacks. And using a Sui Siege is never a bad option. However, you just got to really pay attention to the base design. It's all base identification, and it's going to be determined on how the entire, you know, base is set up and does it call for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example with the mass miner attack strategy. So on this base design right here, we have a pure mass miner, but not only that, but we also have a wall wrecker. And this is where you can use the wall wrecker in order to get a lot of value. Considering that the town hall is adjacent from the entire area, you can actually use the wall wrecker to tank for some of your miners and then deploy more miners when it pops. This is really where you can get a lot of good value from your mass miner. Typically, this is going to be like any of your spam miner farming strategies. Make sure, though, that you are creating a solid funnel on either side. This is specifically where, you know, you want to try and get as much of your pathing down as possible. Also, let me know if you guys want to see a funneling guide at Town Hall 10, 11, and 12. And I will bring that to you guys in the future. But as we kind of move through this entire example, keeping our heal spells to keep all the miners alive is extremely important. And you can see the reason of why this attack strategy is so strong. And it just gives you guys a unique variety. Even if that loon was still alive there, that doesn't matter because you still got all the miners that got through from the from this side of the base to this side of the base very very quickly and that's all it took really with this so it gives you guys an idea of when to use the stone slammer or even the wall wrecker or the battle blimp even but we are going to take a look at one last example using a queen walk and an electron with your mass miner let's go ahead and check that out so this is our final example and not only that but this is a queen walk electron mass miner so this is something that you guys probably have never ever seen before neither from your clanmates or even on youtube this is something that is entirely different and electro mass miner was always still a viable par part of this but not only that but with an Electromass Miner, what you're typically trying to do 
is get a lot of value from the electron portion. This is dealing with the eagle. Now you saw from the previous examples that dealing with the eagle is most of the time very, very good to deal with. So instead, what you really want to be able to do, and oh my goodness, look at that air bomb go. Uh, in terms of this, you want to really set that funnel so that then you have an easy path for your miners. And if you not just think about that, but the Electron is dealing with not just the damage CC, but also with the Eagle itself, you're going to be able to deal with damage CCs like this with just using the Queen Walk on one side, set it using the King on the other side for the funnel, and then the Electro Dragon to help also set that funnel as well. And this just allows you to have this pathing going in like this. And you're going to be able to easily get through a lot of different base designs. Why would you use an electro or the electron portion in this case? Well, if you see that the town hall is in an area where you can get some pathing from your battle blimp, you can use that a lot more effectively. And this is just one viable way of using an electron kill squad with your miners. And also bringing in a queen walk can really provide you with a lot of really good value obviously very base dependent however definitely try this one out i would really encourage that you guys try out this type of variation definitely let me know how it works and also feel free to go ahead and check out the north watch or even um or even go ahead and check out affiliate esports they are both really good clans and i would encourage that you guys both try them out and uh, definitely see so I'll be leaving a link down to both of their discord servers in the description so then you guys can feel free to see if you have what it takes to join either clan and also feel free to join my community discord server it's gonna be in the description and also go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything and follow me on twitter at underscore corrupt yt with that being said that's gonna do it guys for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time corrupt signing out